250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Port, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. And if you would like to support the channel, support your boy, support the movement, support the growth, cash app, dollar sign, Mike and U.S. going to be somewhere around here so you don't forget. Black Queen, I think she on fentanyl, I think she... uh on some type of drugs is on there's a manhunt for a woman out there in san antonio for killing a sonic burger worker that's right uh she tried to steal some tip money out the sonic burger establishment and one of the employees ran out behind the car and tried to take a picture of the license plate and got hit up all in his chest and he died at the scene Let's check this story, y'all. Let me get me some of that drum roll action, please. That Sonic don't pay me enough to do all that. Here we go. Look at this mess here. This is according to News 4 San Antonio. That's her crazy looking stuff right there. And this is the other suspect. Oh, they got some other photos. Hold on. Let's see what they got here. Now, before I play the video, I want y'all to look at how she ain't got no shoes. Let me blow this up. Now, I didn't even know that you can even walk into a Sonic Burger. Out here in Dallas, uh, I've never seen somebody walk inside of a Sonic Burger because you order your food outside. You walk up to the window and you just order your food. So I don't know how it's going on in San Antonio. Like I said, out here. Your ass can't go up in there. Your monkey ass can't walk up in there with no bare foot. Ooh, her foot. Ooh, she got some big old Flintstone feet, dirty feet. With a Hello Kitty or Angry Bird backpack. She looked crazy. And this girl's only 17. She looks old. It's obvious she's on some type of drugs. And I don't know if this is a boy or a girl. I don't know what this is. Let me see if he... That's the memorial. More ugly feet, so... One more picture of her and go back to the video. Just have to show that real quick because I don't know why Sonic is letting these folks up in there with them dirty feet. This web app can visualize your weirdest ideas. It's called Chatbot App. So I'm continuing coverage. San Antonio police have identified two suspects wanted for questioning for the shooting death of a manager at a local Sonic over the weekend. As News 4 San Antonio's Marisa Mendoza tells us while the suspects are not in police custody yet, a family friend of the victim is confident they'll be caught. But friends and family have created this makeshift memorial here at the drive through at the right. Sonic located on Babcock and Eckert Road in the medical center in memory of 33 year old Daniel Shrewsbury. He was the manager here at the Sonic. We spoke to a close friend earlier this afternoon who told us Shrewsbury was trying to turn his life around. Yeah. I drove by and I saw it and it's, it's a lot for me. Close friend and former co-worker of Daniel Shrewsbury didn't want to be identified. But on Tuesday, he added a bouquet of flowers to a memorial honoring the former Sonic manager. What do you want to tell the people who did this to your friend? It's, it's not right. It's, it's not okay to just do something like this. Like People like this shouldn't even be around a gun. Like it's, it's horrible. It's, it's a lot for me, man. I'm sorry. We did a little digging to see just how many times police were called to the Sonic where Shrewsbury was killed. Since January, San Antonio police have been there 12 times. Some of the incidents include an assault in progress or disturbance. The most recent one was Sunday. 
That's when police say Shrewsbury was allegedly shot by one of these two people at the Sonic located in the 5500 block of Babcock Road. Investigators say the suspect and the victim were arguing before Shrewsbury was shot. These photos of the suspects were released Monday, and thanks to tips and to police, officers know who they are, but neither have been arrested or yet been taken into police custody. You said that you've uh, seen the suspects walking around? Yeah, there, yeah, the girl, yeah, she's always around. She's always towards medical centers. She's, they're going to pick her up. They're going to get her. And he will get justice. He will. He will. If you have any information on the whereabouts of either of the suspects, you're... So this is absolutely crazy. Man lost his life over $100 in tips. Let me see something else real quick. Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones news TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. That, that's the manager right there, Daniel Shoeberry, and that's the crazy woman right there. That's the crazy lady. And believe it or not, this girl is only 17. She's had a hard life. Hard, hard life. First off, this is why this is a lesson to everybody at these establishments. My personal opinion, I would never put my life on the line for no job unless it's my, unless my job entails me putting my life on the line. If I'm a police officer, firefighter, uh, army, something where my job entails me that I need to put my life on the line and I signed up to put my life on the line, then that's cool. But for a Sonic Burger, for a Burger King, for Walmart, I'm not putting my life down for no corporation. Absolutely not. A hundred bucks. This man lost his life over a hundred dollars. And it's like I said, it's obvious this woman is on some type of, uh, she's a dope head. And she started off as a dope head early on in life. She's only 17, so she probably been smoking dope. If she's a, if she is pulling robberies to get a fix, she had to have started between She's 17. She probably started smoking dope when she was 14. She probably has been smoking dope since she was 14. Because she's robbing people now to get a fix, to get some money to go buy her, uh, to score her some drugs. You understand what I'm saying? So she's only 17 and it's only going to get worse because now she's about to get thrown in jail. She lost her life too. When they catch her ass, she's done. This premeditated, premeditated murder and robbery or theft theft and murder her and her little stud friend wherever that thing i i don't know if that was a boy or a girl i don't know maybe y'all can help me y'all which y'all think it was the one in the black shirt which y'all think it was but for one like i said if you an employee me personally i don't think it's a good idea to put your life on the line let the detectives do their damn work let the detectives do their damn job it ain't your job to go out there and take pictures it ain't your damn job to go out there and chase criminals. Your job is to serve burgers, shakes, and tater tots. Burgers, shakes, and tater tots. He's now where he messed up. He's just supposed to call the police. He's just supposed to call the police and anything after that because they got cameras everywhere. Roll back the cameras at the establishment. You don't have to go out there and risk your damn life. Go out there and roll back the cameras. Dope head girl, only 17, threw her life away. Them drugs, man, that's why I hope anybody that's on them drugs get off that stuff because uh, it never ends well. Health-wise, pertaining to the legal system, it doesn't end up well. going to be in and out of jail. Now you got to break. It just doesn't end well when you mess with them damn drugs. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this 17-year-old taking a man's life after he tried to take a picture of her ass, of her license plate, after she then stole $100 out the tip jar. 250 capital G, I'm gone.